Oh my god. Why is everything disappointing me so much today? I don't know what to say. Hello, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you know my channel, hi I'm Akanksha. Oh my god, it's been a minute. Ha, huh? like I sat down to film. It feels so nice. It feels like my place. I feel like I belong here. Feels like I I'm doing something I'm supposed to do, you know, and it's been so long. Today's video, you might have read the title already, and if you guys don't know, I am in the United States if you've not been seeing my vlogs. So I recently went to Sephora and bought a few of my few of of my no i do not have any makeup items or can't trust hmm when can i ever get things right like when can i ever say things right i don't think it's ever going to happen but anyway i went to sephora and i bought few things which i always wanted to try few things i saw and i was very interested so i thought why not try it i actually have sephora few things and i have jaclyn cosmetics few things which i actually ordered during the black friday sale which i did not try yet because i did want to try them on camera so i'm going to mix both of them and um, yeah let's try i have some pretty interesting products i was so mesmerized the minute i entered sephora uh, like of course we do have sephora in india as well but we've seen it right and so the curiosity does not lie so much but now when i went here when i'm seeing all the brands which i always wanted to shop like there's fenty beauty there's rare beauty there's hourglass there's laura mercier you know all these counters we don't have in india so it was such a nice feeling to go and i'm like i was in awe i'm not sure if i'll post the vlog first or this video first so if you see the vlog you'll already know but if this is the first know that there's a vlog coming where i actually went and bought these products so yeah i have have a bunch of makeup products so let's get to it and put them to test i have a new mic here so i want to do a little asmr so for foundation today i have the rare beauty liquid touch weightless foundation so i am in the shade 330 and i've not seen a lot of reviews i know there was so much hype about it and like so many people tried it but i genuinely i think i just watched one review and i don't even remember if the person actually liked it or not so i am excited to try i did prep my face with skincare etc so i'm just directly going in with the foundation so i'm going to open the foundation oh my god it is so runny oh my god what is wrong with this foundation i don't know if you can see like literally it is the minute i open it's leaky and it's running all over i didn't even open it properly yet it's just like i just opened it and it's leaking i just need to oh they did say on directions shake well before use my bad can you hear it it's so liquidy it's still very foamy and liquidy i'm i'm not sure if that is the texture of this foundation or i got a bad one let me just it's so i've never seen such a texture and foundation it's so rare pun intended okay let me just blend it i'm going to just go ahead and use uh, a brush i'm using a real techniques buffing brush I think it's a pretty decent match, right? Match it with my Huda Beauty Trail H. If you want, if you're wondering my shade, I'm a 310 Fenty. I'm a Mac NC40. I mean, I do like the finish. It's so skin-like. It does not feel heavy, or it does not sit on the skin. It did get blended away pretty well. It's a little, little. dewy finish for how i like it but hopefully once i set it in place that will not be the case it is a little dark i could have gone a shade lighter and but it's fine like if i'm wearing for like with the turtle necks i think i can manage it but without that i would see look a little lighter but yeah not too bad i can like you know manage with this with a concealer Next for concealer I went ahead and bought the Hourglass Spanish airbrush concealer I bought minis I actually got a lot of minis because I was like I don't even know if I like them so why waste money on big ones when I can buy one small ones and try them first so this is the Hourglass Vanish foundation I love the Vanish stick foundation so I thought I want 
quickly you know why not try the concealer probably will love this one too so going ahead applying that this also i kind of matched my skin i think this is the first time i went to a store and bought like foundation i no matter how you know tricky it is i don't know why i just am too lazy to go out to buy stuff so i always do online shopping so to go and test and see like oh you know actually i can match stuff without having to waste my money which i always recommend ha huh? everybody ki you know if you want to buy a foundation if you want to know your shade it's better you go and choose from store because you understand it better but i never do it myself and i had so many mishaps and i've bought so many wrong like shades of stuff uh when i can literally go to a store like even whatever is available in india i i just like i'm too lazy but now i think i've learned my lesson the concealer is in the shade dune by the way the shade is a little too warm uh then what i would like but i think with the foundation it kind of matches probably if i have used a foundation which matches me exactly this concealer would not be as brightening but because i used like a foundation which is kind of darker it is working but it's a little too yellow and a little too warm for my taste but looking at the finish of this i love how it's sitting under the eye it's not clinging on to any dry patches it's nice and smooth and creamy and I just hope it doesn't crease though because it's already creasing. I mean, most of the ones do without like setting it with powder, but yeah, I love the finish though. <laughs> okay, next, moving on to powder. I've been meaning to try this one for so long, you guys. So this is finally the one size beauty. This is Patrick Star. If you don't know Patrick Star, I mean, why you here? Everybody knows him. So this is his makeup line basically. This is one size uh, beauty. So this is their powder mini. This is their translucent powder. So they have like two shades. I don't know why my camera does not want to focus randomly. Okay. So they have two uh, shades. They have translucent and they have I think a medium deep one. and this is the um, mini so all the rates of course are on the screen for you to check it out so it's not like a, any translucent powder usually translucent powders are straight up white right but this has like a nice what do you say tint to it so some usually i don't like a lot of translucent powder because especially when it comes to like our skin tone like medium or medium deep or my skin tone and greater um there's usually some kind of flashback even if that powder does not give flashback you have like this slight thin layer of stuff which you can see when there's flash photography but this one like when there's a little bit of tint but they're also translucent i feel like you know it will do a good uh, job next moving on to bronzer blush highlighter i basically bought this kit it's called kaja beauty um and uh, they i think they were like under a clean beauty brand let me know if you want like a see a video dedicated to just like clean makeup because i know it's a thing and you know skin skin etc it kind of like you know matters a lot so it has um, you know blush it has highlighter and it has contour or bronzer whatever you want to call it it's a trio and you to get it for they don't have prices on the boxes here it's so annoying for everything i have to pull it up under 25 dollars so i was like if i'm getting 3 for under 25 dollars so why not blush then we have highlighter then we have bronzer um okay so basically the bronzer is cream i thought this is also powder so this is a cream bronzer but um the blush is powder the blush and highlighters are powders but the cream bronzer the bronzer is basically cream so i don't think i can try that maybe i can but i don't expect to perform as well especially like because i just powdered if i just saw it a minute ago i would have uh, you know gone in with it but i was assuming it's powder so i did not i'm just going to probably take this and try to add it on my forehead a little bit just going to take it i always warm up cream products in the back of my hand it also tells me the pigmentation it also tells me helps me not get like patchy stuff on my face it's hardly showing up it's a very like buildable formula so uh, that's a good thing you can like you know work with it you can see on my forehead it just like nicely blended into the skin i'm going to try to do it here as well hopefully the powder does not disrupt it too much 
is not going on like as patchy as I thought it would be. Of course, a little bit because you know cream product on powder does like you know make a difference. So I'm just going to stop this here. I'm not going to put more cream product on my face. I'm just going to add bronzer from what I have. I'm going to go ahead and try the blush now. The blush has like shimmer particles in it. So I'm not really sure if I like it. I don't know why in the store when I saw it, it was not visible. But now with all the lights, I can see that they have it has shimmer particles. But when you swatch the blush, it does not go on shimmery. It goes on matte, but it has like tiny, tiny, like, you know, shimmery stuff in it. So let's hope it does not make me make my texture look a lot more than what it is because I do not like a shimmery brush blush. I have acne prone skin and recently my skin did break out a lot more. So I do have a lot of texture going on. All right, not bad. The, you know, shimmer does not seem to be uh, seen at all once it's on the face. You can see there's no like glow. It's not like any shiny, which is good i don't like any shine for my blush i have my highlighter for it and i know how to place it so i will do it accordingly my blush just goes all over my face so i do not need shimmer in my blush all right okay let's move on to what do we have next we have highlighter but before that little bit of setting spray i went ahead and bought the urban decay all nighter i used this a few years ago and i used to really like it but i never repurchased it again because i do like dude i did have other setting sprays but i bought it now again because my sister wanted one and i'm going to use it and now to the part which I was so excited to try and since the time it came I always wanted to try I swatched it I'm not going to lie because I could not stop myself but I can't wait to put this on my face I've been meaning to try this in so long and I finally got it so this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighter it's beautiful I love the packaging look how stunning like everything I've bought here is mostly like you know high-end makeup only but nothing beats this packaging you guys like let me just open this up this is in the shade the sparks by the way i bought her lipsticks and this highlighter and look at this packaging like how stunning like it is so luxe it looks so luxe as well and they were like for 25 percent off during the black friday sale so i bought it look at that shade oh, since the time it came all i want to do is like put you on my face please come onto my face i can't wait to try it Ah, background music. I don't know what to say. And I don't know if it's like, I don't know what to say good or I don't know what to say bad. I think I'll like move on, try more products and then come back to this one. Okay, so I did my brows and I just add a little bit of concealer, a little bit of bronzer on my eyelids to prep for eyeshadow. I don't have eyeshadow. I do not buy eyeshadow. I do not like anything, do not find anything interesting which I wanted to buy. Uh, but I do have like these two products from Daughter. Of course, I know they're not from here. Uh, but I, you know, got the PR package in India and I was very curious to try them. So I just like got them here because the like videos I've seen online seemed like very nice that... Let me just swatch it. First up. Why is everything disappointing me so much today? I don't know if I like put too many expectations of these or uh, I, I, I forgot how makeup actually. Is. I'm, I mean, I, I'm sure I've tried so much makeup, you guys, and I have a preference and I like my things a certain way. And I, I just expected so much so basically they have two shades let me like you know give you an introduction so this is daughter earth's eyeshadow there's eyeshadow single palette that's 745 each i'm not really sure if 745 each for like a single eyeshadow is worth it like after i apply i will tell you if it is or not uh maybe if you're somebody who's like very easy going and you just like use one shadow to add that shimmer on the eye you're good to go then yes but um 
just for like one eyeshadow 745 you could like get like a entire palette paradise found first so it's a, a champagne uh, gold type of shade on the video it looked a little more cool toned but it's more like you know champagne gold it's a little cool toned but not as much you can you know easily pull off if you're a little warm tone trying to see like if i scratch off like the top layer maybe after that it'll be good because that does tend to happen with stuff i mean it did get applied but not sure yeah no like that's a pass for me i love their cream blushes you guys i can't even tell you i've spoken about them so many times their cream blushes their lipsticks all of them are amazing i've recommended it so many times i have a code with them if you have to buy something from them it is their lip and cheek tint they are wonderful like wonderful wonderful uh, but these ones did not work for me at all i had so much expectations on these because i love them so much the cream products are so good so these also were like creamy eyeshadows but i don't know they did not like perform well on me at all for mascara i have this is not like a new product i mean none of them are new new but i've never tried before and this one i've heard so much about but i never like got around to try it bad girl bang mascara it, like i've seen people use this and get like such dramatic lashes so i cannot wait to use it and get dramatic lashes myself okay so that is the before and after before after definitely like good it does give a lot of length but it does not give as much as volume as i like my lashes to have then finally for lips i bought like so many lipsticks from jacqueline cosmetics because her entire like collection is like nudes so i wanted to buy a few new nudes like i don't have enough if i tell my parents or my mom that i bought lipsticks again they literally kick me because i have so many and i bought again but this vault was for like 60 dollars or something and i was getting like five lipsticks i was like why not so i bought like a lip liner and five of her uh, lipsticks i'm going to go ahead and add the lip liner and this is in the shade Bur Ben. it seemed like a really good pretty brown nude liner then i'm going in with the liquid lipstick which is called i am cancer i love the packaging again her packaging is stunning though like look at the black and the you know color the highlighter packaging i was so impressed so this is i'm a cancer i am a cancer by the way later just had my dinner look at my lipstick do not go just had rice but still it stayed put so that's amazing so it's been a few hours that my makeup is on so i quickly thought i'll give you my final thoughts on the product so let's quickly go through each of the ones i've used first off starting with a rare beauty foundation i really like this it's not a full full coverage foundation so very skin like medium coverage foundation if you do want to cover like intense spots of pigmentation you definitely need to go in with like an external concealer etc but love the finish it gives it just blends into your skin gives it like a skin like finish but a better kind of thing the shade is not nice so i probably will go and exchange it for a lighter uh, shade and that's the best part oh my god in india you can never do this we if we buy the wrong shade we have to stick with it we cannot return it but here you can go and return it and get another shade you guys i mean that's so amazing so i can you know probably will get like a lighter shade in this because i really like the finish it's giving on my skin i was a little worried that it's going to look oily after a few hours but that's not the case because initially when i applied you saw that it gives that dewy finish uh but you know it's been a couple of hours now and i don't have any shine on my face which is nice it did not collect in weird areas and this is uh yes Next for concealer we went in with the hourglass vanish airbrush concealer now i'm not sure if it's the concealer or the powder i, I love how creamy it is i love the finish it just like sat 
with my skin so so well but the only problem is creasing now i'm not sure if it's because of the powder or the concealer because i've tried both of them you know for the first time so i'm not able to figure out which is which so i'm going to try this again and probably like update you guys in the future videos if i'm like liking it or not without creasing like if i don't look at the creasing like doing this other than that the finish is beautiful then we use the kaja beauty um this trio set so it's a, i feel for the price point it's a good deal because you get like three things you get a cream contour you get blush and highlighter but if you're a person who likes like matte matte blush you might not like this it's not as shimmery but it does really have like teeny tiny shimmer particles so if you don't mind that this, this is such a great purchase i love the blush i love how it looks on my skin and the highlighter is stunning as well i did not use it on camera but off camera i tried it over the you know jacqueline hill one and the cream bronzer even though i applied it on powder i did not uh, patch up in weird ways so i'm really excited for this one to try it more it's three things and one thing especially if somebody you know you just want something quick and easy if you're traveling a lot this is such a good thing because it's so compact you get like three things in one or else you have to call carry bronzer highlighter blush everything separately and this is like a one kit which is amazing highlighter like this was something which broke my heart you guys i can't even tell you because i had so much expectations for this i because when swatched on hand it just looked so stunning but on the face i am i should say i'm disappointed like it exaggerates my skin texture a lot more than any of the highlighters i really really loved us i expected it to be too creamy also in a way but i did not get that it was powdery a little bit and it did kind of exaggerate the texture so i'm not a huge fan i want to try this once more and i had such high expectations for this one and uh I don't know like even the shade it looks so stunning in the pan right but on my face it does look like yellow gold which again um don't uh, like but I I'm just like so disappointed like this is $29 you guys and um, I I just expected so much more out of this but the lip is amazing though the lip lip liner stunning lipstick stunning even now i don't feel like it has you know patched up in weird ways it's not making me feel dry it did stay on throughout my dinner which is amazing again the lipsticks amazing lip liner amazing highlighter i shall give a pass then next the one size beauty powder so i love this powder on the face on the face you can see i literally have no shine whatsoever so it's been hours so it did keep me mad but i'm not really sure about the under eye creasing if it's the concealer or the powder though so these two products i have to take you know take a little pass from you and like decide and like when i'm using with some other product which i already know um but other than that on the face it looks nice it's what like i think 13 dollars if it's it's if i'm not wrong and it just worked really well for me then moving on to these eyeshadows dot of earth eyeshadows huge pass did not work for me at all i do not like it it's not worth it that blush is stunning lip and cheek tint stunning then the last thing we have is the benefit bad girl mascara if i see it as mascara in general it's amazing it's been hours it did not flake or it did not smudge which is great i love how much length it gives i love the way my lashes look but when it comes to personal preference i love a mascara which would just give me a little bit more volume this is stunning though like if i just look at this mascara by itself i mean look at how good my uh, lashes look you guys just made it so long and nice but um, i just would love for it to be a little more voluminous but nevertheless i will definitely reach out to this i will use it on a regular uh, basis and i really recommend and love this especially if you're somebody who loves long lashes you will not regret this one it's a beautiful mascara and yeah guys that's about it for the video i loved sitting down and playing with makeup it was just so much fun such a stress relief not that i'm very stressed but it's just like so peaceful to sit and do makeup and talk to you guys it just feels very normal to me it was so not normal for me to not sit and do this so anyways that's it for the video and those were my first impressions on few of those products do let me know what products you want me to try next which are available here leave it in the comments down below i will definitely do uh try to make reviews on those as well and if you like this video then make sure like share and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye